Now, on the credit side, as you know, we have the total of 2,21,650. We will total the debit side and see. When we total the debit side and see, we are getting the total as 2,17,150. Actually, if all the amounts given here are correct, we, should, we, sh we will find that we will get both the sides equal. But since there is some amount which is wrongly given, I presume, that is why we are having a suspense account. Not what is suspense? When we do trial balance and if the both sides don't agree, then we put the difference. So, what is the difference here? It is 4500. It is 4500. We will write a suspense account. So, when we write this, so when we are adding this 4500, to so this 2,17,150 which is the total of existing debit balances, we will be getting 2,21,650. So, this suspense account is used only when your trial balance does not agree, but you have to be very sure that all the balances what you have taken are correct, then only they can be suspense, otherwise do not always put the difference to suspense account. Now, what is this suspense representing? This suspense is representing some errors in your accounting. Later on, you rectify those errors by passing or rectifying the concerned accounts.